I know it's been a minute, <laughs> but I promise I have like a somewhat logical reason as to why I just kind of abruptly left long form content on YouTube. And I'm going to walk y'all through all of it right now as I do my morning skincare routine. I'm going to start out with oil cleansing. This is jo jojoba oil. I did oil cleanse last night, so I'm going to do that now. Um, wow. So yeah, I don't think I posted a long form video since maybe January of 2021. I think that was the last time I did, I think it was a Merit Beauty collaboration I had. And then from there, I kind of just started to do shorts when I kind of felt like it. Um, you know, being a content creator, I swear, it's so weird sometimes because I can feel like I have so much creativity on one platform and then another platform, I'm like, I'm just losing it. I, I just don't have it in me. And I think that's what started to happen here on YouTube. I just felt like, um, I don't know. I felt like my creativity was kind of leaving. When I started this channel, literally I started this channel with the sole purpose of having a place to show how to do my natural hair for my blog. So I wasn't on here regularly. I literally would just come on to do a video so that I could link it to my blog. And I, that way it was easier for people when they were reading to have like a visual of how to do it. That the, the, was the whole purpose. And I did that for a while and then kind of saw like, oh, there's a whole community on here and cool. And I like making videos. I like video editing. I studied that in school, but I actually like doing that regularly. Second cleanse, I'm using La Roche Posay. This is the hydrating cleanser. Um, so I really was just on here during that season to have fun. Like it was, that was the purpose. And I honestly enjoyed creating that way. I know that money came into the influencer marketing field and I am grateful for it now. But back then, like I wasn't really thinking about money. I was just like, I'm having fun and this is fun for me and I, it's exciting. Um, and then fast forward to like January, 2021, I was like, I don't feel like I'm, I feel like I'm so focused on the views and if I can make money off of this and why isn't my content doing well that I just stopped enjoying making content. I'm like, so why am I here? Why am I on this platform if I'm not enjoying making video content anymore? I'm overwhelmed with all that it takes to have my channel be successful and like bring in views and like I was over consuming um, content about how to grow your channel, how to be a successful influencer, all that. I was just like, that was my every day. Every day, whenever I had a free second to do anything, I was just watching all that. I was like, oh, let me see how I can do this and I can do that. And it stopped being fun. And it also just wasn't working for me. So I was like, why am I wasting my time? I would like to live my life. I would like to have a Saturday where I'm not sitting here trying to figure out for most of the morning how to do my content then how am i gonna what am i gonna post it on youtube and then okay how am i gonna get engagement what i need to do to, i was exhausted and overwhelmed so i intended to leave just for like three months and then i started to find kind of peace and not being in the platform so i didn't really come back after those three months i'm using this book scrub this is from sephora um so yeah after all that happened, fast forward to now, I think I just enjoyed, I missed making content. Like, one second. It looks so cute. I don't even know if I'm using this right. But I miss making content. I miss making video content. I was like, it's been a while. And, oh yeah, this one. And I just was like, maybe I should get back to this. I don't know, maybe I should get into it. And then TikTok kind of met me there <laughs> and kind of overtook whatever I was going to do on YouTube. But now I'm like, I'm thinking about YouTube a lot more. I miss being on YouTube and yeah, stuff has changed. I have braces now. I'm doing six month smile. So for any adults who are like considering braces, I think that is what is offered if you don't want to do Invisalign. Um, yeah, I'm like I said, I'm really into TikTok. TikTok has like become my platform of choice. I'm still on Instagram, obviously, I always will be. I really don't even know if I'm doing this right. And TikTok for me kind of started out like YouTube. It was just like for fun. I was, I was literally just enjoying being foolish and being on a platform where I didn't know anyone. Like people, the people were, that weren't were following me weren't following me just because they knew me. It was just like starting from scratch, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I was just, you know, Literally making a fool of myself is what I've been enjoying doing, but now I'm 
kind of being a little bit more consistent with my content. These are clean towels from the Clean Skin Club. I don't always use these. I use these mostly when I'm traveling, but lately my skin's been a little sensitive, so I'm trying to just be better. But these are really, I find them to be really great when you're traveling because I just can't have my skin touch like certain towels. I don't know, depending on the products they use, dust in the room, uh, if the room has been re ready and made for a while, and then I come in and use a towel, I will break out immediately. Ooh. Also one, I've, while I've been gone, I've really gotten into uh, Turkish shows. I don't know if I already had gotten into that, but hold on, I'm using this um, eye transformer by Navinka. It has coffee in it and it's really helped my under eye back, so. Yeah, I've been into Turkish shows. That's because of TikTok. Um, it just kept popping up on my 40 page. I'm like, ooh, this seems interesting. Ooh, this seems interesting. And I'm into them so much that I started uh, learning the Turkish la language on Duolingo and Pimsleur. And I intend to visit Turkey probably within the next three to four years. So super obsessed, obsessed with that. But I think those are like all the little changes. Not much has changed. I'm still me. I'm still doing the same old things, enjoying life, traveling. I traveled eight times last year and four already this year. So that's really been a thing. And that's something you'll probably see on the, the channel. But what the future holds. So I think I realized being on TikTok that I enjoy, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bio oil on the, some of these scars. I enjoy creating like vlog style content. I was doing mini vlogs on TikTok and I just was like, oh, this, I love like being able to be creative with video. I obviously will always do like sit down and talk, talk throughs and tutorials, but I like the cinematography feel of video and I learned that in college. So I want to take this channel in a different direction. Um, and do weekend vlogs. Now, I will always be a hair and beauty kind of channel. So I will still have that content available, but it'll be in short form. And it'll probably be repurposed from other platforms sometimes. Um, just like tutorials, quick things. Cause I like learning and I like sharing what I learn. But my longer form content will be weekend vlogs. Um, and I'm looking to post on Sundays. Uh, uh, the first one, we're gonna play around with the time and see what works, but Sundays will be the new posting day and uh, that's what's gonna happen going forward. So if you have been here and you're an OG and you've been here for my DIY, my hair content days and fashion days, that will still be here. It just won't be the long form content. So you can find that in shorts. I'll still share all my tips and tricks. I'm not gonna leave, let y'all leave y'all hanging, but that's what's going on. Last step, I'm going in with the Double Repair Face Moisturizer by La Roche Posay. And I guess I should have done this in the beginning of the video, but if you made it to the end, hello new people. I also did notice that there was a jump in followers while I was gone. My name is Kelsey Nicole. As you can see, if you peruse around my channel, I am a hair and beauty kind of channel. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of just excited for this next little era of content creating for me. Um, I'm making no promises because I told myself don't make no promises if you can't follow through. But we are moving towards vlogging and let's see how that goes. And um, let me know if you're still interested in like hair and beauty content, what type of content you would like to see. What are some questions that you have? Um, I've been natural for a while. It's been 11, almost 11 years now. So I've been doing this for a minute. I colored my hair a few times. I have some things to share, but let me know in the comments below if there's something specific that you would like to talk about. And um, yeah, look out for my first vlog video that will be going up on Sunday.